Our province is a small one, but a mighty one. We have uh, four communities. We're 21 sisters. Uh, one community in Worcester, Massachusetts, near Boston, up in the far northeast of our country. Two communities in the Philadelphia area, in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, and in Philadelphia. And one community on the border with Mexico in Chaparral, New Mexico. Take it away. Our province has made a stand to be with the immigrants in our country. And in all of our communities, we're involved with immigrants from many different parts of the world. We try to be with them in their joys and in their struggles, to advocate for them, to help them in their integration in our country, and to be family with them. And so at the border with Mexico, we are involved in prison ministry, in teaching English as a second language, in advocacy, in helping families uh, who are struggling to start their new lives in a new country. The same goes for our community in Worcester, where we have after-school programs for immigrant children. We teach English as a second language. We also participate in many activities that try to change the laws and the stance of our government uh, with regard to immigrants. And the same goes for our communities in Lansdale and in Philadelphia. And our work in Chaparral, New Mexico, uh, with the asylum seekers, we work in networking with many other organizations. Um, they ask for sometimes documentation for cases that they want to bring to court, and we help them out with that. Sister Terry Tellez, who is Mexican, she uh, works with parishioners from our parish to go and give religious services in the detention center in Otero. 1,500 detainees waiting to be deported. And Chabella and myself, we visit asylum seekers from Cameroon and uh, we network these Cameroonians, sometimes they only speak French, sometimes English, um, and we network uh, with them, with their families really. Um, we help them, sometimes they need papers, sometimes they just need information about their families. So we can call their families by Skype and, and we can ask the sisters in, in, in Congo to, to help us we out. We also and, are engaged with many young people. We offer an experience of service and faith and community through the Assumption Mission Associate program. Young adults live and serve with us in the United States as well as in the Philippines and in England with our sisters there. It becomes a life-changing experience for the young adults that commit themselves to this year of service with us as amas, as we call them. Language. All these things, we hope, will contribute to the building of the kingdom and of strengthening the bonds of family among us and communion. Well, it's great to be in Lourdes for this chapter. It's given us a whole different sort of perspective on the life of the Assumption in France and also just to give us a little air so that we can, you know, think as well as talk and sit and think a lot more. And so it's, it's been very, very good for me personally that way. I've also really enjoyed uh, listening to the perspectives of people from around the world. I've been very interested in the way that we've operated. We had the lay people at the beginning for a week, and uh, really it was a time to get to know people in a way different from the last time that I was at the chapter. So I feel very grateful for that. I think that uh, you know, our congregation, the Assumption, uh, you know, it's going to have a great uh, next six years listening to the calls of people, as we've been doing all along, and responding to maybe calls from people that not so much we haven't heard them before but to go deeper into our, our response to them. But it's, it's been beautiful and it's been a, a big experience of communion, of feeling that we are one body, that we are one assumption, 
and we're, we're going into the next six years together trying to respond to the needs of the world and, and the needs of our people uh, as sisters and with Assumption together. And we have to say that we're taping this interview during halftime of the World Cup. So I think we need to go now. That's right. So vive la France and um, we'll see you next six years. All right. Bye now.